guys, your Transformers 96 here with another video, and I'm going to talk about a newly shown Transformers masterpiece figure, and this time it is the Transformers Movie 1 Megatron figure, which is uh, very exciting. This is a figure that, or this is a character design that doesn't get a whole lot of love, and we barely uh, get figures of him. It's, it's very rare to ever get a Movie 1 Megatron figure, so I'm quite excited for this. Uh, I Just so you know, because obviously he was shown with Jazz, um, I did make a video talking about Jazz, but that has been a... Uh, uh, I've I've done a separate video for him, so feel free to check out that out whenever you get a chance. Uh, but going over at Megatron here, I think he looks quite nice, I have to say. Um, as far as how I feel about the movie one design for Megatron, I was never a huge fan of it, to be quite honest. Um, like, even back when the movie came out, I wasn't huge on Megatron himself. And then as far as the designs that go forward, uh, Revenge of the Fallen, I do like the design. It's not my favorite. Um, Dark of the Moon, I like it because it's... It's kind of simple, which uh, kind of attracted me, so I kind of liked it for that. Um, Galvatron, I don't really count. And then uh, The Last Knight was probably my favorite design, but it's so specific to, like, a knight theme. So, to be honest, I don't have a Megatron that I absolutely love, the design of Wise. However, I've started to grow on the movie one, uh, just because it, it's it's kind of simple, like the Dark of the Moon one, but it also has uh, more rigid... Um, proportions and pieces that just kind of uh, make him stand out a little bit more. So I've started to really like the movie one Megatron and I'm just a huge fan of the movie one Decepticons in general. So I am very excited to get this in my collection. I think that he's going to fit great with a movie one Decepticon kind of team that I have uh, that I'm going to be like building basically. So I'll let you know. I'll talk more about that at the end. But going over the actual figure here, I think it looks very nice. Proportion wise, he looks very good. Um, and then he it doesn't look like he has a ton of kibble other than a bit of a backpack. On a masterpiece figure, I'd like to not see a backpack. However, you know, based on what he transforms into, I, I understand the kind of need for that because he needs like the wings, and it's very hard to give a figure. Uh, not a backpack that has wings unless it's incorporated in his design and for this one it's not incorporated in his design so I understand the fact that he doesn't uh, that he has a bit of a backpack it's not a huge issue for me I really do like the hands I think that they look great um, that's something that the other versions didn't get perfect um, but I think it looks very cool and then the head I actually really like a lot too uh, but here's the vehicle mode his jet I think the jets really nice obviously since it's not a real thing and you know it's it, like it's hard to screw up the jet because they could do some things that aren't accurate and it wouldn't be a huge problem for me at least. Um, but overall, I do think that it looks nice. What they came up with looks good. Uh, however, it's just the uh, the figure himself, like the uh, Transformer robot mode uh, version of the figure, is the one that I really care about. But yeah, I really do like the head sculpt. I think especially from like looking down at him for a little bit from like this angle, it's really nicely proportioned. I feel like they don't get the thickness of the head right in some of the other figures, like the other leader figure. That leader figure is okay. It has some issues. It has an even bigger backpack, of course. And then the paint's a little lackluster and articulation's a little hindered. Um, but uh, but so I do think that this is a really huge improvement. I'd be interested to see the paint in person. I hope that he does have a bit of a shine. I, I don't want him to just have the kind of plasticky gray type of look. Uh, I hope that there's some, at least some pieces that are shine, that are like a shiny silver. And if you want some gray mixed in with the silver, I'm okay with that. But I don't want it to be like just kind of all, di just different shades of plastic gray, essentially. Uh, so hopefully that's not the case. This is cool. You can uh, store the uh, the cube in his chest. You can remove it and, and can remove the piece. And I guess like, well, they don't have a Sam figure. I'm like, oh, you could pose Sam posing it. it pushing it in there. Unfortunately, they don't have that though, so I think that's a nice touch. I find it completely unnecessary just because, again, there's no, like, Sam figure, so you can't, like, even put him in that pose, so it's more of just the, oh, this is cool factor rather than you'll be able to do anything with it. Um, but I do like the fact that you get, like, a little cube. That's kind of neat. Oh, there's a great shot of the head sculpt. I'm Again, I really like in the head sculpt. I did hear, like, somebody say that the head sculpt didn't look as good as they thought um, they thought at first. But I actually, I, I like that head sculpt. I think it looks really cool. Um, I haven't done, like, a direct comparison, but from my memory and just from looking at it, I think that it looks awesome. I'm really into it. Uh, and then here he is with... Uh, with, I guess, his hand transformed slightly into, like, a gun. I, I don't know. It's weird. He doesn't use, like, just a single gun, though. Uh, this is awesome. I'm really happy about this. 
one of my favorite shots of Megatron from that first movie is when he gets shot, well, when he, like, makes the gun, gets shot, spins around, and then reforms the gun and then shoots it at Optimus. I think that that's just a really cool shot of Megatron. And so to be able to represent him doing that with the, the kind of double arm cannon, I think is awesome. And it kind of, it, it's a nice nod to what he transforms into in the uh, original TV show, obviously. Just, he transforms into a gun. So this is kind of a nice way of making it look like he's got the barrel of the gun, basically. So I, I actually, I really enjoy that in the movie, and I'm really happy that we get it as a figure. And then he does come with like an extendable, um, I guess that's going to be rubber. That might be plastic. I don't know, but he comes with that, like, a. Uh, uh, piece that can extend his hand so that he can kind of use it as like a wrecking ball, which he does do in the movie as well. So I think that's really cool. And then uh, he does have the capability of like, if you have jazz, you can pose them um, where he's ripping jazz in half, which I think is really cool. Yeah. So overall, I have to say I really like this uh, Megatron figure. I'm quite excited for it personally because what I plan to do with it is this is a perfect Megatron and it should be in perfectly it should be perfect in scale with the leader Starscream as well as leader Brawl and then I'm also going to get the um, the uh, the upsized version of the uh, Studio Series Blackout, and then I'm also getting that third party Dream Factory Bone Crusher, and then I have the uh, map sorry. Um, movie masterpiece uh, barricade already so all of those together from from what I've kind of gathered just by doing comparisons and things I'm pretty sure that they're all going to be pretty much in scale with each other which is really exciting for me so this way I get to cap it off and to have like a completely in scale set of um, Decepticons from a uh, uh, from uh, the, the original Transformers movie, and only two of them would be like the actual Hasbro versions that are non-masterpiece. Uh, so I think that's really cool. So that they'll all be like really, I think I think that they'll be really nice, both from scale and the individual figures are really great, all of them. So I'm quite excited about that. My only issue with this guy is the price. He is expensive. He's $160, and for a uh, uh, masterpiece figure of his size, he should be about 120. Because I'm not mistaken, like um, Optimus Prime and, and the bigger masterpiece figures are about 120 dollars, which is pricey anyway. Um, now I kind of, you know, like I'll still pay that, like the 120, like I, I did buy Optimus. I bought him on a bit of a sale though. I tend to try to get the masterpiece figures for a sale, but almost 40 dollars over the original retail is crazy, and I don't think that you're getting 40 dollars worth of extra stuff. Uh, he might be bigger, like slightly bigger than Optimus, and that's nice, and he does come with a fair amount of accessories, uh, but other than that, uh, I don't, I don't see the stuff here to worth, uh, to make it worth $40 extra, like, what you get here is worth 120 for me, if they wanted to do, like, 130 or even 140 uh, I would still be okay with it, but 160 is a little pushing the, uh, the, the line there, so, personally, I do plan to get him, just because, He's really what I need to complete my set, uh, and it looks like a nice figure, but overall I'm not too happy about the price, and Jazz is a bit uh, extra in price as well, he's $90, so I do find it a shame that they are raising the prices of the Masterpiece figures. But yeah, there you go, that's my thoughts on the Transformers uh, Movie Masterpiece Megatron figure from the original Transformers film 2007. Let me know what you guys think of the figure, and thanks so much for watching.